Hey guys, gonna be waterproofing my electronics tonight. Uh, I'm working on the hit and run Wraith buggy and I wanna make sure that I don't have to do this later on down the road. I'll be using Corrosion X, it's a conformal coat. And I'll be uh, pouring it into a small container and then dipping the electronic components. Uh, this is the non-aerosol version as you can see. Uh, this ran about $20 on Amazon. And what I'll be doing is disassembling the Mamba Max Pro and simply dipping the board down into that cup of Corrosion X and then hanging it up to dry overnight. I'll probably do a couple coats before hanging it up and uh, anything that's left over after that I'll just, uh, just kind of dab off. But uh, on the Tekken Rock 412 motor, I'll be doing the sensor board on the back side here. I'll take that off and uh, there's two boards, one on top of the other uh, with a gap in between. I'll be just dipping one side and then dipping the other, hanging it all up to dry. Making sure that I don't have a uh, drippage or you know when the, the drops collecting on the bottom side just because of its proximity to the rotor. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get these torn apart and start dipping the components. Okay, got the uh, components taken apart. The motor was fairly straightforward. There's four screws on the front that you take off. And then on the back, there's three more. You take that off and then there's three more screws in the sensor board. You take out those three screws and then it lifts out pretty easy. Uh, this, the rotor, you might have to press down a little bit to break that, that magnetic hold that it has. But other than that, I'm going to uh, dip this Mama Max Pro uh, probably one or two more times. Uh, something I also did is I did go ahead and plug in my uh, sensor port and that motor uh, motor wire just just in case. I don't. I'm sure it's going to be just fine, but I'm just uh, just doing it for good measure. But anyway, like I said. I'm just doing uh, one board at a time on this one. All right, I've got the pieces hanging up to dry. We'll uh We'll see how these do over time. I This is the first time for me using this particular method. You can kind of see that the coating is uh, is on there pretty well. I didn't uh, I didn't do anything to that fan motor, but like I said, I'm not too worried about it. So I'm probably just going to leave it as is and see if it survives. Um, we'll, uh, we'll see how this does over the long term. I'm going to let that dry and get to work on some of these other projects so I can get this truck done for the weekend. We'll... Uh, I'll get this all put back together and get in the truck and we'll see how it works as I uh, follow up.